Hello folks and welcome to the show. I am happy to be back. Um, pandemic is over. Um, so everybody is going back to their normal routine. I'm glad that it's over. So uh, October will be a brand new start for everyone who hasn't gone back to work, who are now going back to work and businesses who are operating in half capacity to now full capacity. So it's good that it's over and I'm happy that we are having our normalcy once again. Um, today's video is about my arcade machines and how old they are now. Uh, as you remember my first videos, uh, I started with two, just two arcade machines. And that was way before the pandemic. So you're talking about anywhere from three to four years ago. So now we're gonna look at the conditions that they are and how good I kept them and how easy it is for you, if you have arcade machines for a very long time, how easy it is for you to keep them in good conditions. Um, sometimes it's, um, it's a challenge to keep them in good condition, especially if you have two dogs and one of them likes to shed a lot because she's a husky. And, um, and also the fact that I live in a desert, so you have a lot of dirt. So um, it's, uh, it's very challenging to keep them in mid condition. Now it ain't gonna be an excellent condition. Excellent condition is like you do on a car. When you get a car and it's like it's an excellent condition. These are replicas. These are going to be anywhere between mid to fair condition. Um, so, um, but like I said, it, a lot of years put does put a wear and tear, especially if you're the type that play these arcade machines a lot. They're gonna put a wear and tear. So we're gonna take a look at all of the eight machines and in the state of the condition that they are in and uh, make a better judgment on how to keep them clean and how to keep them in, in, in fair or mid condition. They're never gonna be excellent, but there's gonna be mid and fair condition. So without further ado, let's start the show. <laughs> Okay folks, and now we are heading over to my arcade machines. And as you can see, my lineup of arcades that I have are eight machines. But we are here to talk about the old and years of these arcade machines that you put into between the play, the abuse, the cat scratches, the dogs uh, shedding all over everything. And so let's start with this end with the first two that started my whole two, whole YouTube channel, which is Centipede and Street Fighter. Now Centipede and Street Fighter started my YouTube channel. If you go to my channel, you look back and you see the very first two uh, machines that I have got. I started out with one, which was the Centipede. Centipede, I got this for $2.99 when RK1 first came out dropping these things. And I ran to Walmart and said, oh my God, I gotta get me one. And I ran and got me one and she was the very first uh, machine to ever get. Uh, as you can see, she, the machine is in mid condition. As you can see from the back to the side of the bezel, the designs, there's no scratch marks. And But if you look at the deck, there are little chips in the paint, even with the deck, uh, deck protector on it, because this is a lot of wear and tear. This is aging. And you gotta remember, I live in the desert. So in the desert, it's been 117, 100, the highest we had was almost 120 degrees. So even with the swamp cooler AC running, you're still gonna have some heat. Um, it's not, you know, my system's never running 24 seven. I never have these guys running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but the heat does play a factor on these arcade machines. So you also have to look at it like that. So it will put a lot of wear and tear into your system, even if you don't play it a lot as you would want to. But the rollers on here works perfectly. The buttons work perfectly. It's a player one and player two. I will do next Monday, next week, I will do a play view of these first two machines. So you can see that they do still play in the conditioner it is. But this video right here is showing you the wear and tear after so many years of having these arcade machines. Now, 
Centipede and Street Fighter machines, I had this four years. So this is a four year old machine. And so this is the condition I have them. The, I don't use any solutions or any chemicals to wipe them down because these bezels, these deck, these, um, these uh, artwork will fade when you wet them. So you never wet them, you use a dry um, fiber optic cloth that I use and the only time I use any Windex is on the deck protector and then if I do use them I don't put them back on the machine after I wipe them down with with that solution they sit somewhere in the other side of the room and they'll sit and dry for 20 minutes until they completely completely dry and then I put them back on the deck and so you can see the bottom base of it is also in good condition um, well mid condition um, so if you look at Street Fighter, Street Fighter is the same way. It's also the mid condition. Um, so I like how I kept this one in good condition. Now I got this a month after I got Centipede. And as you can see, the designs, everything even on top of the arcade machines, as far down as the deck is in mid condition. And you can see there is no cuts, there's no nicks, there's no scratch, there's no break in the deck protector like it is on Centipede. See, Centipede has a crack on the deck protector, top and bottom, but Street Fighter doesn't have it. I don't have that much use on this one. I do play it, but I don't play it as heavy like I did on Centipede. And on Centipede, it, it plays a lot because between me, my friends, my neighbor, they come over. This is the game everyone likes to play the most. Not much Street Fighter or any other game, but this is the game because everybody remember when they was kids, Centipede, and how much they like to play Centipede. Street Fighter was much more of my style of fighting games. It introduced me into the fighter genre, and I love playing it. I remember dropping as much quarters and playing these things, and um, Street Fighter, when it was an arcade, they made money off of me because I was just, I just, ten dollars and quarters a day I would drop into this machine and I used to play the crap out of it back in the 80s um, you know you know late 70s let's say mid 70s to early 80s is when I was playing this when I was like around 10 12 13 years old I was playing this and I used to get in trouble because I used to never come home from school I used to run straight to the arcades and when my friends and we would have all have quarters and we would just sit there and play the whole entire day until my mom got home from work and noticed I wasn't home and she all she automatically knew where I was in the arcades playing the arcade machine I used to get whipped in front of my friends because I never came home on time like I was supposed to because I'm always playing Street Fighter but Street Fighter you got me in trouble plenty of times bro I don't, I don't even want to see you no more <laughs> so over here we have Rampage now Rampage is also mid condition and like I said, if you want to have these arcade machines in excellent condition, then don't ever open the box, don't put it together. That's how you get it in excellent condition. When they are open and they are used, they are mid to fair condition, depending on how they are kept. If they have a bunch of scratches, they have nips in the uh, paint, the wood is chipped, the bottom base has a hole in it, or it looks dingy and dirty. You got scratch marks, and the 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 high the high riser is got scratches and it got cuts in it. Then you consider it to be fair condition because it's been abused. But if you don't, if you have one that doesn't have all those cuts and nicks and scratches, and it looks good, then it's in mid condition. And as you can see here. This is in mid condition. Look at the paint, the artwork, not a scratch. Oh, well, I take that back. There is one little scratch right here. Ugh, they go one right there. Ah, well, now that's fair condition. <laughs> well, there you go. That's fair condition. So you look back here, look over here, and then you look down here, and then you look at the deck, and you can see there's not much. I mean, you have two right here. That's um, that's because the the you know it's it's normal for the paint 
the paint the artwork to start peeling or chipping away or fading away because it's getting old this machine is a year old so it doesn't have the age like the Street Fighter and the Centipede which is four years old but this is a year and a couple months old so this is getting up there in ages so you're going to have some uh, some definite wear and tear into this thing so um, you know if you want to sell it you always tell people hey I'll sell it to you for 50 bucks 80 bucks 100 bucks because this is fair condition it has its age it you know it's been it's been played it's been run down so it's yeah it's up there in age so you're gonna have to sell it for a reasonable price so um, so you always want to let people know the conditions of your machines so like I said this is a year old so it has its play not as heavy as the centipede but it does have its play uh, so now we go over to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and as you can see this is also in mint condition so let's look at the artwork and this one you have no scratches not a chip like you saw in Rampage the artwork is pretty good then you have the side work which is artwork which is in very good condition then you look at your deck now the deck on this one the deck protector has a crack in it that's like I said common wear and tear so you're gonna have those and but if you look at the deck itself you have a little bit of nicks you can see the little bit of nicks where the artwork is starting to come apart and that's normal but once again this machine is also a year old so this is an old machine just like Rampage um, so you're gonna have your normal wear and tear now when you clean these bad boys like I said use a microfiber cloth just to get the dust off of it but once you clean the deck protectors you got to let them sit and dry for 20 minutes do not wet them and put them back on it because you do it's gonna make the artwork fade right off and then you next year you know you're gonna have to get a whole new deck and right now it's very hard to get these decks because arcade one of them don't sell them no more so you have to go through a third party vendor to get a whole new deck and like i said they're very hard to replace now you can upgrade these bad boys you can find a whole bunch of upgrades but you cannot get it's very hard to get a replacement deck from arcade one because they don't sell them anymore not even a deck protector can you get from arcade one they don't even have them post them up there no more so here you go NBA Jam, which is also a year old. I had this for a year. This, is, this one is a year and four months since I had this one. And as you can see, it has, like I said, it has some wear and tears. This is uh, the artwork. Um, the deck protector itself is the plexiglass, which is the deck protector, is, is in mid conditions. No cracks. There's no breaks in it but the artwork underneath because like I said because I live in a desert I live in heat they do tend to wear these things do sweat so when they when it's too hot in here sweat it start wetting the artwork on it and then next you know it starts to chip and fade but um, we look up at the and uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to look at any chips any tears and tears like this one right here in the corner it's got a little nip but uh, other than that, because this is a light up marquee, it uh, doesn't have any much, it's, but it's very, very hard to see sometimes. But uh, the top of it and the back of it is in very, very good mid condition. And then the screen itself is pretty good. Now I remember playing this in the arcade as well. Um, unlike Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I played this in the pizzeria place. and next to this one was street fighter asteroid dig dug mr do and missile command and i remember playing this in the arcade machine it was like in in the pizzeria and i remember it playing in the back of the pizzeria place because it used to have the arcade room in the back when i went to go get a slice of pizza and i used to go in i used to drop a couple quarters in that little arcade room now 
the arcade place where they had thousands and thousands of these machines, I never played that there. I never played this game there. I played I played NBA jams there in the arcades and used to have three three of these machines. Um, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, there was only one machine and I never played it. So I was always playing at the pizzeria place. So, but this one, uh, I dropped a few quarters of my days in this one. Um, not as much as Street Fighter and Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Street Fighter, Mr. Dude, Dig Dug, um, uh, Defender, Asteroid, Space Invaders. Um, shoot, there was a whole bunch of Tempest. There's a whole bunch of old classic games that I put a lot of quarters in that I, I mean, I just sit there and play, 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 play. Matter of fact, I remember Robotron 2024. Holy crap, that was an old game. I remember that being next to Teenage Mutant, New, Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I remember that, Robot, Robotron 2024. If you don't know what that arcade um, machine was, look it up. It's Robotron 2024. That was a classic. I used to play the crap out of that game. It was right next to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I used to play that so, so, so much. And then they did a retro on PS2, I believe. And they had all of the arcade, old arcade retro games. And I and I saw Robotron on that disc. And I said, oh my God, I got to play this. I haven't played this in ages. And I went and got it on PlayStation. I think it was on PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. And I bought that and I played the crap out of Robotron because I loved the lights and the noise and the fact that you was this one little robot had to shoot all these bunch of millions, minions trying to get you and coming at you as a bunch and you had to try to shoot them all just to get past a level. And I was like, it was just like Tempest, but not like Tempest, but it was just with a robot and it was just and the noise and the lights was awesome. And it was just like, man, I love playing that game. And I remember, now I remember that was being next to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was an awesome game. So that's why I didn't play this turtle game that much because I was playing Robotron 2024. It was, it was, it came out the same time that Robotron, Robotron 2024 came out the same time as Tron did. Because in Tron, the movie came out and it was popular. And then they, game, they came out with the Tron game. And Tron game was also on the far side of the room away from Robotron 2024 but it was in that same area that those two games came out so yeah that was definitely classic man that was man I can't believe I can remember that crap that's that's crazy so here goes Pac-Man now Pac-Man in my days in mid late 70s early 80s I played this game like it was no tomorrow I love Pac-Man and in my neighborhood in the Bronx we had tournaments we had local tournaments, we had uh, uh, city tournaments, and it was like crazy. People was playing Pac-Man, was, and they would, they would play through all the levels, and then play them over again, and it would get harder and harder and harder the more levels you play. And I, I had one guy, I remember this one guy played this thing for hours and did not, I mean, he lost, the only thing he lost one man, and he'll win four, four characters and win one. And would play for hours, and people would used to get mad because we had only had two machines, and this guy would never get the heck off this machine. And when he finally did, I had my turn to play, and oh my god, I dropped some quarters in this bad boy. So this is Pac-Man. This is not a year. I say I had this machine eight and a half months now. Um, I got this one from uh, Renner Center. And um, they Walmart didn't have it, so I got it. Renner Center had it, so I went and got it at Renner Center. And as you can see, this one is in mid condition. And if you look at the deck, it's pretty good. Deck protector is pretty good, no cracks. A couple of scratches, but no cracks. And screen is in excellent well not excellent but is in fair mid mid to fair condition and the bottom base of it is also in good condition and then just to show you how much I love Pac-Man I have the miniature Pac-Man machine yes this thing does work um, the batteries on it is dead though and I don't take it out of the box because 
this is one of my mid this is my mint collector's uh, item so keeping it in the box in brand new condition I can sell this online for good money um, by the time my kids get to my age they can make a whole bunch of money off this um, because it's the retro arcade micro player so you can't play it it does play like the giant pac-man one here it does do that but uh, like I said uh, as a collector's you can all always whenever you have something like this and you don't want to take it out of the box and you want to keep it as a vintage collection it can be that and you can sell a lot of money for it because this item right here will disappear you will no longer get it and the only ones that will have it are collectors who have it in excellent pristine condition and it's still in the box as you can see excellent excellent condition so this bad boy in a couple of years down the low in the future will be worth a lot of money. So with this little keychain of Miss Pac-Man. Now this little Miss Pac-Man you can't play it because it's a keychain, but it does act like a little arcade if you hit it. There you go. And even the marquee lights up. And see you can see it playing by itself. You can't play it like a Miss Pac-Man game, but if you turn it on, it turns on, and it's a tiny arcade, and like I said, you keep it in the box in excellent condition, and it's the original arcade, mini arcade Miss Pac-Man. This will be hard to find, so as a vintage collector, this will be worth a lot of money. Lots of money. So, yeah. So, next arcade machine, is Marvel Superheroes. Marvel Superheroes is a year old. I did have it for a year. So there had I've been playing this a lot because I like the X-Men that I have on here and I love Punisher. Those are the two games that I like the most and I do on Marvel Superheroes. But this is a Capcom game and I play this thing to the bone because I am a fighter. I love to play fighting games. So let's look at it. As you can see, the deck of the, the marquee is in mid condition. The screen, there's no fade, there's no washout or anything, is in good condition. And the deck, there's no scratches, but except for the deck protector, you do see some scratch marks, but it is in mid condition. And if you look on the base, bottom base is in mid condition. So I remember playing Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Marvel Capcom, um, X Men, I remember Marvel, there was what, X Men vs. Capcom, and then Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and then Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I used to play the crap out of that one. So yeah. Um, I like, I said, I like fighting games. But I'm always a Street Fighter fan. I'm always a Mortal Kombat fan. So those two games were the one that got me started in fighting games when I was small. And I always play fighting games ever since then. I do a lot of role playing games now and sports games. Um, I do play a lot of Division 2. Um, but if I ever want to uh, not lose my knowledge on fighting games, I will go back to playing this one. So. Um, I have this on my PC as well as my um, Xbox. So, and my PC game collection is like crazy because I think I'm up to 84 games and most of them are my classic fighting games. Um, I have King of Fighters, I have um, Marvel vs. Capcom, I have all of them, I have all the Street Fighters. Then I have um, uh, DBZ, which is Dragon Ball Fighter. Um, I have the Xeno, the, the not the Xenomorph. What else? What, what else do I have? Oh, um, I you know what? It's so many. I like I said, I have a total of eighty four. It's a lot. I'm a gamer. That's just me, uh, and that's why I collect these machines because I am a true gamer. And I don't think people, you know, at my age, people was like, "Oh, when are you gonna grow out of it?" And I was like, "Never," because once a gamer, always a gamer. You know, I I feel that. I'm adult when I work, pay my bills. But when those times are done, I'm gonna be a kid and this is my kid time. So this is when 
it's great to be young just to play these games um, so over here is my Mortal Kombat this is also eight months and was it eight months and yeah it's eight months you know my, no matter of fact nine because I got it the same time I got a Pac-Man so it's eight and a half months actually eight and a half months because Miss uh, Pac-Man is eight and a half months I bought this uh, right after I bought this I bought these two back to back so it's eight eight and a half months for this one so you can see this one has Paperboy but this also has Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat 2 Mortal Kombat 3 Tubin uh, uh, Root Beer Tapper um, it also has Rampage Gauntlet Joust um, so and like I said it has Paperboy so you can see Paperboy is playing this was a classic I was never that much into Paperboy so um so yeah yeah what the heck <laughs> but I, I like playing it sometimes so let's look at the condition of this as you see this is a light up marquee so you're gonna have some like a little bit of a fade right there like a little chip right there and so this is mid condition let's look at the deck the deck is nice and clean uh the glass is okay not much scratches on this one no chips okay with the exception of this this is a scratch right here see that's what it says not that many scratches because mostly the scratches are on the side of it not much this side but it's mostly on this side so you do have I do have a couple of scratches and then the no this is not a real coin thing this is just someone stickered on it here this is the sticker they got on it and all these are going to have these original coin based things uh, I do I found a guy online who sells them only thing I have to do is cut this out or get a board that fits it and be able to slide that piece on there and so all of them are going to get that oh look at my dog Hannah look at my dog Hannah she's sleeping um, yeah and I got my dog Hannah and then this is my Siberian Husky she's a uh, uh, look at her. scratching herself that's all she does is scratch 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 but <laughs> but anyway you can see the screen no fade out no wash out the screen is in, is in good condition this game this machine hardly gets played um, so uh, when I don't play these machines they all stay off only time I they come on is when I know I'm going to play them so I turn them all on so everyone probably wondering Man, your electric bill gotta be high. No, my electric bill is anywhere from like 55, 60 bucks. But I keep these machines off. If they're not being used, they turn off, and they'll stay off until they are, until I'm ready to play them or something like that. Or I turn them on one at a time. But um, yeah, I don't run them on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm, I've never done that since I got these things. Um, so. Um, so now you see uh, my sh machines and which are older, which, uh, you know, the age and the condition that they are in. And they're not that bad. They're not that bad for, for these guys being that old. Um, you know, Centipede Street Fighter, four years old. Rampage, one year. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one year. NBA Gems, one year. Uh, Pac-Man, eight and a half months. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes, one year, uh, and Mortal Kombat, eight and a half months. So, this is not bad. So, hang on while we uh, sit down and I give you my final thoughts on everything. Hi, and now we're here for my final thoughts. So, my final thoughts on these is, if you are an arcade one player, you remember playing these arcade machines and you enjoy having these things in your house. There's no harm in buying them. Um, right now, uh, the prices on some of these arcade machines are reasonable. These old machines that you see back here, uh, starting with, uh, you may find uh, Zenipi for $199, you may find Street Fighter for $199, unless you get the, uh, the blue, big blue, which is the Street Fighter tall, tall cabinet. Um, you might get that for $3.99, maybe still 
Um, I have checked some prices on some of the Walmart stuff and I can say they are still pretty high when it comes to the arcade machines. Um, I, I, I tried to find, uh, Walmart is, is going away with uh, having these arcade run-ups in, in the stores because people are not coming and buying them. They're not. Um, so the best thing you could probably do now is order them online. That's what you probably have to do is order them online. Um, right now, you can get a Mortal Kombat machine for $199. You can get a Street Fighter machine, which is just a different edition of what I have. It's the, Com it's the Com Capcom, blah, blah, blah. Capcom Legacy arcade machine for $249. Then you have the Simpsons for $429. And then you have the Pac-Man, which you see back here, is $199 right now. And that's the Legacy edition. That's what I have. Um, then you have Terminator 2, which is uh, $399. I mean $499, excuse me. And then you have the um, Simpsons, which was if you buy it with, uh, well, if you buy it with the uh, riser and light up marquee deck protector, is three ninety nine. Which I don't get it. Why that is that is that is funny now. Let's um, more prices. Um, Street Fighter. Uh, Big Blue is $3.99. And then the Cinebee that I just showed you, which was the Arcade One Up's first arcade machine that came out four years ago, is $2.99. So you can get some of these some of these arcade machines for a, a, a fairly decent price if you want to drop that money. Um, the, the 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 better the better the arcade machines is like say like Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer Come with the pedal and break thing. That's four ninety nine. If you're able to drop that kind of money for four ninety nine, that'd be my guess. But if you can't, you can always buy Galaga and Galaxian for two seventy nine at Walmart. Now, mind you, you have to buy this online. They ain't gonna have this in the store because this is too much of an item of, of for them to have in the in a warehouse. And if they're not selling, they're just gonna sit there and collect dust. Which is good for the consumer because when they want to get rid of them, they're going to liquidate them. And liquidate them means they're going to be cheaper. So then you'll buy them for $269 or $199 because they want to get them out of their warehouse because they just sit around collecting dust. Nobody's buying them. So they're not going to keep them in the store because they need the room to put products out there that do sell. So if RK one up is not selling in Walmart, they're going to tell you, hey, go online and buy it. And that's what you're going to wind up doing. Um, so, you know, like Miss Pac-Man, which is the 40th anniversary edition for that one. It's for $447 in Walmart. Where you can just buy a regular uh, Miss Pac-Man, like the one on my keychain. You can buy that, that machine, a four foot machine, for $199 off the riser. If you want a riser with it, that's another 50 bucks because it's $49.99 for a riser. Um, so if you want that, then you're gonna, you're gonna get that. You know, and you get a Mortal Kombat with the riser light up marquee and everything for $449. Without it, without the light up marquee or without the riser, it's just $199. So, with, with the light up marquees, the ones you see like the Pac-Man and the Mortal Kombat, the light with the marquee light up, or the one without the light up marquee will be like Centipede and Street Fighter with no lights on it, you get it for $199. But if you want the bells and whistles, you're gonna spend $449 for it. So you spend it $500. Uh, same thing with the Pac-Man. Uh, then you got the, now this is where I, I can say, this is where it's gonna get steep because then you have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, which is a different cabinet than the one I have. It's a, a much more upgraded cabinet and it has built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, you're looking at $6.99. Now people, if you got that kind of money to spend $6.99, be my guest. But let me tell you, these are replicas. When you get in this high in prices, 
dollars like I saw somebody selling it for a thousand thirteen hundred dollars for X Men versus Capcom, um, you know, Marvel versus Capcom or X Men Machine or something like that. They want to sell for thirteen hundred dollars. Listen, people, these are replicas. These are not. These things don't come with coin-based operating machine, and these doesn't have CRTVs. These are not the big case size original arcade machines. Now those machines, yeah, you're spending anywhere from $25,000 to $3,000. Why? They're original arcade machines. Those are the ones that you saw out on the street in the arcade place and you was dropping quarters in them. Those are the real deal. These back here are replicas. They are copies of those machines. Minute down scale, four foot if you get it for one ninety nine, six foot three ninety nine. Okay? The only difference is the riser doesn't make them taller. That's why you spend forty nine bucks for a riser if you want it six feet. But if you want it at four feet like you saw the centipede and street fighter, one ninety nine. But those are just replicas. They are not real they're they're not the authentic arcade machines. These are something for your house tonight. If you had the original arcade machines, trust me, I wouldn't even have room to put those big machines in here. In this, uh, I'd convert my dining room into an arcade room. I wouldn't have room. I just have enough room for maybe four. Not all eight that I have back here behind me. So, to spend six ninety nine, seven forty nine. X Men seven forty nine. Come on. Dude, these are replicas. I don't even know what RK One Up is even thinking about. And if you if, if you go over to RK One Up, okay, if you go to RK One Up's website, it's an original website. They are asking for crazy ass price for an arcade machine. Let's take NBA uh, NBA Jam. Let's take uh, NFL Blitz. Okay, NFL Blitz right now is five ninety nine. That's not bad if you want to drop six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars, six hundred uh, taxes, six forty nine, something like that. Yeah, that's not bad. And it's in stock. Okay. And then you have some that's like, let's say, um, let's give you another one. Let's go, let's go Golden Tea. Let's see how much Golden Tea is, because that one's bigger. $699. $699, $700. A $725, something after tax. And then and then shipping. Shipping, you, you, you're looking at $800. Seven, seven, seven fifty, almost eight hundred dollars. Out the door. These are replicas, people. Wait till the sale prices go down. You don't need to spend that kind of money unless you rich, you ball like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, be, yeah. You got money to blow like that? Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not paying. I liked it when they first, when they, when they first was introducing these things, and it was like two ninety nine. I mean, I would buy them like a dime a dozen. But when you start hitting the six ninety nine, seven ninety nine price, you you, you gotta you, you <laughs> no, sorry, no, no. I mean I I would love to, Buck Hunter. I would I would love to get Buck World. Buck World I would love to get. But let's see what they want on on online for this one. Let's go to let's go to break. Let's see what they got. And I guarantee you, guarantee you, it's gonna be $6.99. Look at $7.99. $790. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me for a buck hundred? $7.90. That's that's them at $900. You took that's close to a thousand. You got to be crazy for something like that. Crazy. And it's just replicas, people. These are not authentic. They're replicas. What are you... 
These are copies of arcade machines. These are copies. With <laughs> Star Wars. Let's go to Star Wars arcade machine. Even though they bring him back Star Wars, but I can tell you this much, it better not be no seven ninety nine. Because when they first came out, it was seven ninety nine. I was like, I'm not buying the Star Wars. And then by the time by the time they uh, it was running out, it was like, oh yeah, well you know, well we can you know drop the price of six ninety nine. It only took a hundred dollars off. I'm like no. So now they out of stock, but when they come, when they do come into stock, which um, RK One Up are going to be shipping out some of the Star Wars cases. So if you never got Star Wars when they first came out, you're going to have the opportunity to get them right before Christmas. So they will have a whole bunch of these available before Christmas. So hopefully, the, at five hundred dollars, that's what it will be. Is that five hundred dollars? I would definitely get one. I would definitely get one. Because I, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I wanted those machines for the longest. And I missed out on the opportunity to get it. And I want one now. So um, I definitely would like to get those. But but uh, like I said, you can order them online. You can go to RK1 Up. Just don't pay arm and a leg. It's not worth breaking your piggy bank or not pay your rent to go get one. You get one at a reasonable price. Now, if you're making six figures, you balling, you got big dollars like that, be my guest. Knock yourself out. You can afford it. But those who are living by means, by budget, paycheck to paycheck, if you live in paycheck to paycheck, you shouldn't get one. Because your bills got to be paid more than your paycheck to paycheck. But if you have room to play, you have room to get something, start off small. Get a 199 machine. And then when your finances don't mean a better, where you can afford a 299 machine, or a 399 machine, or a 499 machine, then yeah, you can go buy one. But but if you're not a collector, you're not an arcade person, then don't buy it. I buy these to because it's my collection and it, when I have guests come over it shows off to my guests and the people before. and I is not a person that has never came to my house that says wow can I play every <laughs> person came over here and wants to play these all game machines they're good to have they're good to show off the people if you have a party it's good for guests to come over but be warned People play hard, people play rough. These, like I said, these are replicas. So by being replicas, they have cheap parts. Parts that can easily break. So if you're the type of person that don't want people to break your stuff, don't turn it on, tell them no. Because like Pac-Man, you juking around with the joystick, you're gonna eventually gonna break it. And then you're gonna have to wind up buying another part. That's what the whole thing about replica is. They are not strong and durable like the arcade, the original arcade cabinets. These things are used with wood, cheap materials, easy to break, where you're gonna constantly have to replace. So just think about that when you buy one. You know, if you're the type of person that don't want people breaking your stuff or you don't want nobody touching your stuff, then you know buy one or two but if you don't mind people playing and you just want to show off let's show off that you got money because i don't have money i don't have money like that they take this these things take me years to get and so i get them one at a time to build this collection up this this thing took me a couple of years to build this up let's see five years five six years it took me to build this collection so i don't have money like that but when I do have extra money, I, if I have something to spare, I go buy. And usually, I buy them at the end of the year when I know Black Friday cheaper sell. So, look online, shop a deal, go on eBay, see what people have to offer on eBay, but don't spend over four hundred dollars. Don't spend. 
because it's not worth it. These things are just copies. And they are just home entertainment for your amusement, for your family amusement, for your friends amusement. You know, and these are something you can pass along to your kids when you leave this planet. Your kids get these nice, wonderful collections. They get to play them. And then later on down the line, when they hit your age, if they want to sell them and it's in a pristine condition, they may get money for them. For people who don't have them. For people who want to have them because the copy will eventually go out of business and they will stop selling these things. And so people like me who are collectors, okay, who collectors who got way more money than me, who got millions, will buy these things from you just to show off because they say oh yeah I remember the arcade one of error I never got one of those I would like to give one just so I can show my friends that yeah I was around when that happened and they were paid whatever whatever you want them to pay because they got money to pay that's just how they are so I say take your time wisely Think about what you want. Think about how you want. Think about if you want to spend the money for it. Like I said, these things are nice to have around the house. They bring back the childhood that I lived when I was around these things when they was original. And I remember they bring me back to the days when I remember playing these things when I was a kid. The real ones, not these, but the real ones. And how much money I spent on these type of machines spending quarters all day every day so it's fun to have around it really is but right now I'm just rambling over and over I'm saying the same thing over and over and over so I'm trying to make this video good so I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos if you have any questions uh, any concerns or anything you want to address on how to take care of these machines, like what kind of solution, and like I said, don't use any solution that I can tell you what kind of micro, microfiber cloth you can use to clean your machine to get the dust off and stuff like that, and to get the fingerprints off. Um, just leave a comment down below, you know? Let me know what, people, What? let me know down below what machines you have. How long did you have these arcade machines and what kind of condition are they in? Do you play them at all? How many do you have? Do you have one or do you have eight? Do you have 14? Do you even play them at all? Are you looking to sell them? Are you looking to get more? Please, let's talk. Leave the suggestions or comments down below and let me know so that way we can all have a nice conversation and share our wisdom and solutions and thoughts on our arcade machines. I'm happy to be part of the arcade one of club family, whatever you want to call it. And I am a collector on the arcade machines. So um, if you're new to this channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notif notification bell so you know whatever I make more videos and I will be making videos once every Monday and next Monday and next week I will be playing centipede so you can see that it is, it is still in working condition and that it is still playable um, and I'll show you each and every machine from every Monday on until I get the new ones in which I am going to be working on this end of the house I am going to be working on getting some of my arcade machines. I'm hoping to get Star Wars. I want that for Christmas. I wanted to get the Blitz, but I think I want to put NFL Blitz aside and get the Star Wars one. That, I always wanted that when it first came out, and I missed the opportunity of getting it, so I'm going to get it this time if it's at a reasonable price. Um, so, once again, guys, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and enjoying and listening to me conversate and rap and rave a little bit and showing you my arcade one up and I'm hoping you enjoyed what I have um, and many more to come. We'll do a lot of more videos and more gameplays on it. So 
I want to wish you all a very, very good night. Thank you. God bless. Stay safe.